Hi, in this video I want to demonstrate how in an Azure DevOps project we can have a single build pipeline that is able to trigger multiple separate release pipelines. So in order to do this let me run through the project structure um, and how it's set up. So here we can see that I've got a, an Azure DevOps project called multiple release and if I go into pipelines uh, we can see that I've actually configured a build pipeline already. It's very simple, very basic. It's just basically hello world. As you can see there, it just echoes out hello world. If I go now into release pipelines, we can see that I've got two release pipelines, CD1 and CD2. If I go into the configuration of one of these pipelines, we can see again, keeping with the theme, I've got hello world. Um, if I go back into pipeline, we can see that it is being triggered by the build. So if I go into triggers, you can see that I've enabled continuous deployment trigger. I'm not filtering on a branch. So with this setup, basically what will happen, and I'll demonstrate this now, is if I do a new build, I'm going to run this on a Ubuntu because we're using a bash script. If I do a new build, this will only take a few seconds. Once this build completes, automatically both releases should um, kick off, should, should start. And that demonstrates how a single build pipeline can trigger multiple release pipelines. So as you can see, the build is going through now. Okay, as we can see that has completed. So now if I flip over to releases, we can see that there's a release two in CD2. And if I go to CD1, there should be a release two and it's actually already completed. So that demonstrates how a single build pipeline can trigger multiple release pipelines.